Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be setting up a network share on Debian based operating systems using Samba. So let's get into the video. Now you're probably wondering, why would I want a network share on my computer? Eh, well, first off, it's, good, it's nice to have a uh, network share because I have been burning my music uh, burning all the albums, the, the disc albums I bought recently, ripping them off the disc, and then having a network share would have really, really made my life so much easier. So, we're going to go through and set one up. So, first things first, we need to update our system. Now, you may have remembered that command I gave. Go away, Ubuntu Pro, stop trying to sell me it. That was custom alias, it's up in my custom alias video, which I'll stick up into the right hand corner right now. So once we've done that, we need to install Samba. So to do that, it's sudo apt install Samba. As we can see here, we don't currently have Samba installed, so this is just going to go through, get Samba set up and installed, and they'll be off, they'll be off and ready to go. Now once we've done this, we will have to make sure that we have Samba set up we got it versioned so smbd so samba and then version so there we go we're currently using samba version 4.15.13 next we need to set up the configuration so first thing we need to get is just echo user in this case it's just now so we need to go into the samba config file so in this case i'm going to use nano you can use vim but i'm using nano for the sake of the video. So, to get to the Samba config file, first thing we need to do is sudo nano or vim etc sm samba slash smb config smb.conf. This brings us to the Samba file, uh, the sample configuration. So, what we need to do is find get down to the bottom right. What we need to do is we need to add to the end. What we need to add to the end is read only equals no. And what we also need to do is we need to add the username to the path section. So uh, printers or profiles don't net log on. So all of this is correct. Um, homes directory reader i read on the yes great mask no 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 just ignore that and what we want is the path so what we need to find is the correct part of the config file so include no yes it, it unfortunately is a rather large well, it's rather large config file which is both a Blessing and a curse because trying to find the thing that we want to find is rather annoying. So just oh, we just got to keep going until we actually find the path we're looking for is annoying. No, that's just ID maps. So bear with me whilst I try and find the path I'm looking for. So I had misread my own instructions. What we actually need to do is not put read only and instead we need to paste this in. So this is some share comment. And so what we need to do is just do path home what home next. What we will do is just we'll do open up a new tab. PWD home nick. And I'm just going to place this on desktop, so CD desktop. So home nick desktop, clear, right, that is correct. But home nick slash desktop slash samba share. False user, SMB user, SMB group. So all of this is now set up correctly. And what we want to do is just do control X, Y, and 
enter. That's that setup. Once we've done that, we need to add a Samba user and a Samba group. So the first thing we'll do is group. So sudo group add hyphen hyphen system SMB group. And now we need to add the user with a load of operators to it. This is just to ensure it doesn't create anything it doesn't need to do. So sudo user add system hyphen hyphen no create own space hyphen hyphen group hi, space smb group hyphen s slash bin slash false space smb user so that's now done and what we now need to do is we need to go to the shared folder so cd desktop and make directory hyphen p samba share cd is samba share now that we've done that what we want to do is we want to do sudo change owner of the directory recursively to smb user and the group being uh, smb group to this slash samba share can I access whoops can I access oh yeah that's why because there's no such file directory what we need to do is go back rectify our mistake so again just a directory samba share that's now been changed so we need to place it in the home directory that's a easy mistake to make so don't worry about it so we've changed the owners so we now need to change the modifiers so sudo oops sudo ch mod recursively g plus w tilde slash samba share enter what we want to now want to do we want to restart the samba server so to do that we do because we've already got the ownership where it's going to be all that setup so what we want to do is we want to do sudo systemctl status smbd so that's set up we will need to restart it because I didn't do restart. So restart. Get the status. As we can see here, it has just launched one second ago. And off to the races. So we also need to enable it with a firewall. So in this case, because it's Debian system or it's an Ubuntu system, it's got the Ubuntu firewall on it or unified firewall or whatever you want to call it, UFW. Got UFW on it, so you sudo UFW enable Samba. So sorry, so UFW allow Samba even. And there we go. Sudo UFW status. As we can see, Samba has been enabled. So let us add in some Music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my music and I'm going to grab a copy of Slipknot Antennas to Hell. And we want to go to the home directory. Go to Sambashare. See, we can't paste this in because we don't have root directory. So what we will need to do is open this up with this. And then paste in that. That's fine because Samba, the Samba share owns this folder. So what we want to do is now that we've got that set up, we will do go to network. Under Nick, we have 
So I'm sure. So this has now been set up correctly. We can view this anonymously. But it won't do it because it's going to say, I need access. So it's just going to be registered user that. And we're going to give it the standard permission. Like that's, that's also fine because I was expecting that. But it is set up because it's denying us. But it is fine. But what we will do is we will go to uh, connect to server. And what I'm, we're going to do is just going to be in my case, it is that Samba share. And it's going to be this connect cannot be opened. And uh, that's because it is that. So we want pu not public F. No, it's great. We'll do it as public FTP. But again, it, it is doesn't like the fact. Windows share, yeah. Please verify your details. I fucking love it when Windows does this. On Windows, file, it's just gonna be slash. But if we can see, it does exist. It is in existence. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, open to the root, please. We try and mount it, it's going to say, mm, it's not correct. It is being failed the correct permissions, but <sighs> is anything Windows based for you or, or Windows themed. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, consider hitting the like button. If you dislike the video, uh, hit the dislike button. Both of them work. Maybe also consider hitting the subscribe button. Anyway, I have been Nick. You have been amazing. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.